Alright guys, Michael Hicks here with Mike Does. We're out here at one of our renovation projects, or should I say a teardown here in Rossville. We're getting ready to take this building down. So uh, right now we're taking all the heart pine floor out of it. We didn't want to waste that stuff, so we're, we're saving that. We're going to put it back in the new building when we put it back. In the meantime, I needed a place to store materials and also an on-site office. So I thought, what better uh, way to use a shipping container than an on-site office? But I can't leave it there because I want something much better looking than just a regular old shipping container. So check out this project, take a look at what we did to brighten up the city and brighten up this uh, corridor as we do our remodel. We brought it in on a rollback, everything went smoothly. We pulled it out of their yard, very easy to get to. Uh, just brought it right back here and set it down with the rollback and then uh, used the jack to level it up and get it uh, where we could use it. All right, so we put an ad on Craigslist. It's getting kind of hard to source containers, so I, I thought, well, I'll start with my network locally. Uh, you know, they're not sending over containers from China like they used to. So I reached out to some friends, posted on Facebook, and. Uh, had a friend of mine reached out and said he knew where two was so uh, we went and took a look and uh, this is one of them we've got one more that we're picking up it's a 40 footer uh, both from the same seller so we were able to get a pretty good deal on those and up here so this one's in fair condition it's got some rust on it but it is wind and water tight uh, we will clean it up and put a coat of paint on it and uh, make it look a lot more presentable we'll try to bang out a few of the bigger dents and uh, see what we can do with this thing so right now it's just a shipping container uh, that'll be used for storage. Who knows, uh, six months, a year from now, it might be a coffee shop, ice cream shop, pizza restaurant, another short-term rental. Who knows what this thing will end up, but it definitely won't be used for storage permanently. So I was driving uh, down off Calhoun Avenue and saw another shipping container that had been uh, done with graffiti and uh, just loved it. So I reached out to uh, the owner of that container, uh, Adrian Cooper, and found out that it was done by uh, Brandon Ormsby. Uh, so I reached out to Brandon and he was excited to do the project and I think it really turned out great. All I want to do is, is better Rossville and better the community and, and try to create some positive things. You know, when people are driving down McFarland and they see uh, the container sitting there that, with the bright colors and the, the, the Rossville icons in the background, just say, hey, we're doing something positive here and, and this is going to be really cool. I 
right, guys, I love the way it turned out. They've got several features of the downtown Rossville district, uh, the commercial district. We've got Roy's, we've got the water tower behind the mill. We've got the mill and just a silhouette of commercial buildings. If you're driving down McFarland Avenue and you see the container, stop, take a picture, tag us on Instagram, hashtag Reimagine Rossville. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave us a comment. Yeah. See y'all next week. <laughs>